Hi everybody, Dr. Kristen here again, this time recording from my home. So today we're gonna to talk about milk again, because I can't get enough of milk. Milk is one of the oldest, most natural and complex fluid in our lives. Milk naturally has proteins, fats, vitamins, and minerals. And one of the interesting facts about it, about four years ago, some archeologists dug up some really, really old pottery, about 3000 years old to be exact, and they found remnants of burnt cheese at the bottom of these pots. So that's some evidence that dairy has been in our lives for a really long time. So can you think of any dairy products in your life? What's your favorite? Milk has been used in a variety of different ways to make different dairy products that we enjoy and love in our lives today, like ice cream, cottage cheese, cream cheese, cheese in general. It's a lot of different kinds of cheese. There's soft cheese, there's hard cheese, butter, can't forget butter. Now I'm thinking about ice cream, oh man. Yogurt, how can I forget about yogurt? I can go on and on. Dairy is used for a lot of different reasons. So one of the components in milk, milk proteins, are what we're gonna talk about today and that we're gonna use in our science experiment. So we're gonna use all the materials from the spark kits to do this experiment. I suggest um, finding a place that you don't mind getting messy, maybe in the kitchen that's easy to clean up and find your favorite grown up to help you out. So milk proteins are pretty interesting. Naturally, proteins are very much in a very ordered and folded formation. 80% of the milk protein that we drink and we eat are actually called caseins. It's a very special milk protein. All right, can't wait to see you guys start this activity. You can either follow along in this video or use the written instructions in the Spark. 